It's a long, long story, this one, of our friendship and partnership, based on common values of democracy and freedom and rule of law and human rights, but also of a very strong community, a fellow citizens that are both American and Portuguese, and they love the United States of America, and they love Portugal. There are around 1,500,000 Portuguese, Luso American right. living here. That's right. They're very important. So it's not just a military, a political, and an economic alliance. It's more than that. It's something very human. Right. Because we're speaking of 1 million and 400,000 uh, people that uh, they leave their love for two countries at the same time. As, as you spoke of soccer, let me then ask you something, or I'll make you a suggestion. Go ahead. If you're going to meet Mr. Putin, well, I was with him last week. Good. Yes, and he asked me to greet you. So, of course, he was expecting your visit. But anyway, don't forget that Portugal has the best player in the world. That is called Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I'm sure know. your son knows it. He knows all about and it. So, and so, don't forget, if you ever go to Russia during the championship, don't forget Portugal is still there and wanting to win. That's right, the doing very well. Yes. Right. And they say he is and doing very, very, very well. That's very good. Well. And so tell me, how good a player is he? Are you impressed? I'm very much impressed. He's the best player of the world, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So in a sense, uh, well, I think has been a success. I do agree with you. Yeah, the great. championship. Yeah, no, yes. yeah. I think. I think. No doubt imagine. about it. For the world. For the world. So will Christian ever run for president against you? Well, you wouldn't win. You know well, he won. President, you know, you know something. I must tell you. Portugal is not just the United States. That's not right. That's a little right. bit different. I, yes. Go ahead.